With so much volatility hitting the markets, my next guest says the bull market is far from over. 6.3 trillion sitting on the sidelines, too dangerous to dip back into equities before the election. Neil Hennessy was about to be with us. We have a little problem with this shot, but I will tell you this, that a guy who has, what, 5 billion in assets under management says, don't freak out about these debates. You can still find good stocks to pick at this very moment, ahead of two more debates and a vice presidential debate, too. Let me bring in Neil Hennessy of the Hennessy Funds. All right, Neil, you're not scared to jump into these waters, eh? And he's not there yet. Oh, he's in the studio. As he's walking in, right now the S&P 500 is up 13. I've got my tap dancing shoes on. The NASDAQ is better by 48 points. And look at oil at the moment. And the reason we bring up oil is because the Saudis said one thing, the Iranians said another. The Saudis said the mood is positive in Algeria where they are meeting at this very moment. And guess what? The Iranians said, no, nah, we're not ready to make some decision making. Maybe we'll see an agreement. I don't think so. Now Neil Hennessy has finally walked in. Good to see you, Neil. Um, uh, listen, people are scared because they look at all that's going on in the oil market. They look at what happened with the election post-debate. The market's up, the market's down. Is it too dangerous to get in in advance of November 8th? No, absolutely not. I mean, you just look after the last eight years have been a tough and rough environment, including a lot of regulations that's come out in business has done extremely well, even in face, facing those headwinds. When I look at the market today, I, I, I've said it before that we're back in the 82 to 2000 market, where the market was up each and every year, except 1990 when it was down one half of 1%. But it's a good time. Where the money's sitting right now is money market funds and fixed income securities, which is just absolutely crazy and yeah, almost there. It, uh, people are saying, don't do that. It's like worse than stashing money under the, the mattress. But that said, you like Goodyear Tire, mm -hmm. you like Casey's General Stores, and you like Manpower. Looking at the common thread between all of those as we come up against the closing bell. Well, the common thread is they're selling about 0.5 on a price to sales ratio, so you're buying a dollar revenue for 50 cents. So you're not overpaying. Not at all. Great to see you, Neil. Thank you very much.